Yeah. Okay. Well, hello, everybody. This is Coach Tilda. This is Coach Tilda, better known as the Coach's Mentor. I am coming to you today with excitement again. I have guests with me that you can already see on the screen with me, uh, Coach Kizzy Gray. Um, I want to jump right in. I don't want to waste any time. Her schedule is so tight, and I just appreciate her taking the time out today to join me, even for the ones that will do in the will be uh, jumping on for the replay. Make sure you put all your comments and questions in the comment box. I appreciate everyone and the feedback I'm getting on these interviews. Um, it is a open discussion, open conversation with us here um, with the coaches, and they have agreed to come on with me and just dialogue a little bit about um, what's going on in their world, their platforms, and, and all the different things that God has uh, them doing out in the kingdom. So my guest today is uh, Minister Kizzy Staten Gray. She is a homeschool guru, and she's going to share more about how she is uh, operating with the different gifts and talents that she has. She is a professional certified life coach as well. Her niche is self-care. She's I say she's a self-care guru as well. She has a awesome group that she's going to share with you later on. I hope she puts it down in the uh, comment box when we get out. Uh, but most of all, she loves the Lord. She loves God. Uh, she is out in the kingdom, working in the fields, the vineyards, mission, wherever her um, her heart. She has such a big heart. Wherever God leads her, she's there, and she's open to assist uh, those that need to hear the gospel, uh, need to hear about the goodness and what's coming forth for us as children of God, um, for the people of God. Uh, she has a beautiful family. She's a mother, a wife. And I'm going to just slow down a little bit right here and, and just ask her to share with the audience as well in this introduction anything she'd like to share with the audience that they may not know about her. Um, and then I'm going to get into some questions. So she's going to get into uh, what she's doing now and the past and the future and, you know, hopefully where she sees this coaching arena for people in ministry. But Kizzy, thank you so much for being with me today. Uh, go ahead and share with the audience a little bit more about you. <laughs> <laughs> you said a lot. Well, thank you so much, Coach Tilda, for having me here. First of all, you are an amazing coach. Uh, we met online. And um, yeah. it was such a joy to meet in person as well. I've come to your CoachCon conferences, uh, the first three, I think, in yes. person. And then the last one was online because of the whole pandemic. Mm -hmm. But your, um, your teaching and your training has been so helpful in, for my whole life, for my career, mm -hmm. um, as well mm -hmm. as for ministry. Every aspect, even my homeschooling, has been impacted through the mm -hmm. training that I have received through you. And I just know that yeah. once we um, met, it was just wonderful experience. Uh, even meeting uh, in person, my family was like, you're going to meet this lady who you don't even know. And I remember your mom having the same <laughs> conversation with you. But it worked out well. It's like, you know, yeah. you can try the spirit by the spirit. You already know you're good people. So, <laughs> but it has worked out. But anyway, hey, man. And yeah. what that was like, how many years ago? I mean, it's like um, five, six, seven years ago. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's been a great experience. And I enjoy working with you, honestly, um, anytime I get the opportunity. So I am looking forward to that. But anyway, to, just some more about myself. I am, like you said, a wife of. This year will be 25 years for me. I do have five biological children, which I homeschool. Two have <laughs> yes. Two have graduated yes. already, and I have three more to go. So uh, they keep me quite busy. I do some small farming, raising livestock, and gardening, oh, wow. massive gardening. So 
a lot of things, a lot of cats, and I've learned how to strike a balance through life coaching. So first of all, yeah. we are the first recipient of the benefits of life coaching. So it must first impact our own lives and our own families. And it has helped yeah. tremendously. So, and then, you know, there's the That's ripple so effect after that. So uh, my family, mm -hmm. my direct family are the recipients of the benefits of life coaching and then my clients. And so it's an ex it's a ripple effect. It goes out into ministry, into business, into every aspect. So it's not something that you can isolate to any one particular category. It really is a benefit all around. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I believe that also. Uh, I do believe that, Kizzy. Thanks for sharing all of that. Master Gardener. So you're really in the season right now. Um, yes. I would think with all the growth yes. from the fruits and vegetables. So that is um, a great blessing to have that right at hand. How many years have you been gardening? Um, about five years. I took um, a year or so off in between that five mm -hmm. year span, but it's, we moved out into the country on six acres and, you know, yeah. just doing a whole lifestyle really is a culture shock for me and my family. But it's been a wonderful experience, and we have all grown so much as a result. That is, oh, that's great. Um, <laughs> what a, there's no better eating than fresh fruits and vegetables. So, Kizzy, my first question to you: um, Where were you in life, ministry, the family before the uh, training, the life coach training? I know you touched on a little bit and said um, that balance yeah. really uh, came into focus for you. So talk a little bit about beforehand, and then we'll get into where you are now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I have been serving in ministry for many years um, in leadership capacities, um, various working mm -hmm. from working with youth for working to adults, um, all aspects. But one thing that, um, was striking for me uh, is learning how to deal with the different people, the personality types and how to handle people as a result of life coaching um, and knowing how mm -hmm. to, um, one of the things that was key for me in, in my own practice, now this is switching over, but even in my own practice as it relates to ministry, because it's almost kind of marketplace ministry, it's almost one and the same. So even when I do things that are, mm -hmm for my business or if I am, you know, leading someone directly through ministry, learning how to listen mm -hmm. to what they're saying was a big key for me mm -hmm. because what I found out was that I wasn't an active listener. <laughs> I was listening to oh, well. <laughs> wait, waiting for the opportunity to say what I needed to say. And that was yeah. something that I learned through coaching. Now you really have to listen. I mean, really practice mm -hmm. the listening. And so that was a, a huge thing for me because, and another thing that was huge for me was not to solve people's problems for them. <laughs> and so, you know, that's so hard because people come to you, you know, a friend comes to you for advice or what have you. Even in ministry, you do a lot of counseling, whether it's youth or adults or parenting. And what I've been as a mom coach and a parent coach for so long, it's like you want to help them solve the problem. But life coaching really is about them arriving to their own answers, their own solutions, mm -hmm. helping them to navigate yeah. through their obstacles, um, discover their weaknesses, their strengths, and where they are in life so that they can, um, you know, get beyond being stuck. And so yeah. I had to have a paradigm shift on how I deal with and how I approach things and not to be come to the rescue with the answer. <laughs> so that was a, uh, definitely something big for me. Wow. So those are really big. So those are I hear you saying that before. Yeah. So beforehand, you were you were really um, struggling with the listening and you realize well doing the training that the listening wasn't there and then also with the balance you know 
And I can imagine it's been a really great tool with you, with the size of your family, with five beautiful children. Yeah. And how you relate to that, because ministry does start at home. Charity starts at home. It does. And our biggest ministry, yeah, is our partner, our mate, and, and our children. So that's so important that you brought that up. And the importance of... Um, having that that tool now because coaching is simply a powerful communication tool and what um most important people we have in our lives is our family first and so mm-hmm. placing that there with your kids i can only imagine how powerful it is in your household now so what what led you to um to get the ministry i mean to get the training what led you to actually step forth and say i'm going to do this investment for myself to strengthen my platforms family you know the home the church the ministry all of that and your business as a entrepreneur so what what was the what do you think was a pivotal point for you you know i think um i I looked at the investment is so worth it for everything that I'm doing that I could only benefit Mm -hmm. from um, having that real uh, professional training um, of knowing how to do what I'm doing with excellence, how to serve well, how to serve better uh, than what I was doing. Because, Mm -hmm. you know, working in ministry is really one of the main things is because um, it will help me to do what I do better. And one of the single yeah. most important reasons any person will either be coached or to coach other people is so that they can maximize mm-hmm. their God-given potential. And so for myself and as well as anyone else who I come in direct contact with through ministry, through business, through you know just clientele, even my mm-hmm. own family, that helping people to maximize their potential, reach their fullest potential. Because oftentimes, you know, every great leader has a coach, every CEO, everybody who's the top of any organization has some type of coach. And everybody who's at the top of any type of sport has a coach. Everybody's at the top of anything, uh, whether it's music industry, um, whether it's entertainment, through acting, whatever, everyone who's great and the greatest of the great all have coaches of some kind and so you can only enhance your life by having that coaching experience when we are the first recipients again and so once we partake of what how we can benefit then we can help others and that's the principle give and it shall be given you know um, we receive um if yeah. really we receive freely shall we also give and i think that um just enhances the lives of the relationships around us those that we're involved in Mm -hmm. on a consistent basis, when you add value to someone's life, you know, that's how they remember you for how much you have cared by adding that to that particular value. Right. That's right. And, you know, Kizzy, if we don't take care of ourselves first, how can we, you know, be in a place and posture in a position to even help others because we're so you know yeah we're in a drought ourselves sometimes by continuing to pour out pour out pour out and then when it comes time to serve others in our lives we don't have it we just don't have it to give um you know and a lot of people contact me and ask me this question all the time about coaching um intertwining with ministry and you know how can you blend the two and you know how how is it that you can relate the coaching into your ministry integrate the coaching into your ministry and i think you've already you've answered it so beautifully is that you know serving others we need to be as strong as we can you know first of all within ourselves to be able to go out and serve others yeah so if anyone's listening in today or even the um the on the replay and they're thinking they're sitting on the fence and they're thinking about getting certified as a life coach what would you say to them 
I would say definitely go out and do get it done. P4 Coaching Institute is a fabulous place for great training. Um, you don't even have to go in person anymore. You can do it online through self-guided um, courses. Um, either way, I recommend that you yeah. do it because you, your life will be totally enhanced as an individual. And then those people that you come in contact with um, and those people that you serve, will definitely be better as a result of your training and your development and invest in yourself. You're worth it. You are so worth yeah. your own investment, you know? And so a lot of times people think about investing, they might think about buying the material things, but this is far greater. It's like teach, give a man a fish or teach him how mm -hmm. to fish. This investment goes far greater than some purse that you can buy, some outfit or some other type of yeah. material thing. This is with you for a lifetime and it's life changing. It really is life changing. It so is. it helps you to find a balance, how to overcome your own problems and situations, issues, how to deal with your own life, then also helping people yes. to navigate through their own challenges. So I highly recommend, highly recommend getting um, the P4 um, Coaching Institute training because you will definitely see residual impact as a result of this investment. You will not regret it. You will definitely be so excited that you have done it. And you are gonna say, why didn't I do it sooner? That's probably what you're gonna say, but it's definitely worth the investment. Get out there and get started today, or just, you know, e even if you just get some information, inquire about it, go to the website, look at what it's entailing, but you can go at your self-guided pace so you don't have to, you know, rush through it. You can take your time if you're working full time, or if you work in part time, you know, however you're doing it, you can get it done. So I definitely encourage those who are watching, who are thinking about it, who pondered it. Um, this is an opportunity. If not now, then when? Get started right away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, kids. Thank you so much. I couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Before we get off, um, some of the comments coming in. I don't know if you can see the comments or not. Um, <laughs> so one of the um, one of the viewers said, "So true, Kizzy." Another one is, "That's so true. It goes so deep, and it's a daily process with the right training." Um, another viewer is saying, "People a great start and eye opener." Um, and then someone says, hello, beautiful ladies. So thank you all for tuning in and joining us for the uh, interview. If you have any questions for Kizzy, she is going to um, put her information, contact information in the comment boxes as well. Um, when we go off for all the um, replays and Kizzy, how can people get in touch with you and reach out to you? Those that are listening in today, um, that were here when we started i mentioned that she is a self-care coach um has an awesome powerful group for those that are interested in building up themselves their personal growth whether it is holistically and that's what i love about um her group she offers information on a daily basis for those that are uh, working on themselves spiritually emotionally physically how can they reach you? And she will be putting her link in, in the comment, how to contact her group and join her group and as well as other services that she has. Okay. Well, I can be found on all social media as Kizzy Staten Gray. Um, also mm -hmm. uh, in my private Facebook group, it is self-care is queen behavior. So if you treat yourself like royalty that we are, then you will not yes. abandon it your needs so that in, in the process of serving others well so um definitely you can find me in that group self self-care is queen behavior that's on facebook it's a private group um but then my website mm -hmm. is kizzystatengray.com so that's k-i-z-z-y s-t-a-t-e-n gray g-r-a-y.com so, yes, thank you so much, Tilda, for having me. This has been great. And um, I also want to say Coach Tilda is an awesome, phenomenal trainer. She's very thorough. She she cares, and she'll help you get um, down to helping you find your niche and um, helping you get through any kinks. If you want to call her anytime 
after your training. If you got questions, she's always making herself available. So I appreciate that about you. You're such a great leader. Thank you so much. And so are you. Um, Thank you. Anything you'd like to encourage the audience with before we get out? Inspiration or offer up a prayer or a word uh, to lift others up before we get off of the uh, interview today. Feel free to um, just encourage the audience. Sure. I just I want to go back and reflect on um, something I said before. Uh, for me, the single most important reason a per person should be coached is so that they can maximize their God-given potential. So a lot of times we don't know mm -hmm. the fullness of what we have on the inside of us until someone helps to cultivate and bring that out. And so if you want coaching, that's one thing I would say, seek it out there and find the person that's for you and not everybody is your person. But also if you that's want right. to be a coach, you can help cultivate the lives of other people whether you're working with youth or working with adults or whatever it is, what line of work you do in ministry, what have you, it is so important because, you know, we, in order to live well, to lead well, to finish strong, the essence of everything that we do will be benefited as a result of coaching. So it definitely um, goes cohesively with ministry and you'll be able to serve well mm -hmm from a place of excellence with training like this yeah. that will help you thrust forth into your true gift and your true calling. Whatever your assignment is, you will definitely be empowered mm -hmm. to move forward with clarity. I think that is so key yeah. and what you get out of it um, really, really is, is tremendous, such a tremendous benefit. So yes, you can't go wrong. It's worth the investment. And I would say it's a, it's not a it's it's a rather inexpensive looking at some other coaching programs this one is definitely affordable <laughs> don't you <laughs> i know you were yeah. to for me i think this is a very affordable and worthy investment so um definitely look mm -hmm. into it and um, thanks for watching thanks for being here thanks for the opportunity to serve your audience i appreciate you costility you guys have a wonderful wonderful evening Thank you so much, Kizzy, for coming on and doing this interview for us and sharing, just imparting and dropping some really um, strong revelation and nuggets to the audience, golden nuggets, your wisdom. I always enjoy hearing you share um, your progress and just seeing you on your platform just makes me proud. So continue to shine, as I always say, keep shining. Thank you. Thank you so much. All righty. Bye.